Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Lottie Dolls. I found it in a cute little toy store in a historical downtown square. This shop was so adorable. I mean, my eyes just got big as soon as I walked in the door. It was like this box, only in a human size scale. This doll cost $25, and I found an accessory pack for $12.50. On the doll's website, it has a suggested retail price of $19.99, and the accessories are $9.99. So yeah, I ended up paying a little bit of a premium, but had I not walked into the store, I never would have found this doll. This doll is an international award winner and loved by parents. Says the little medal on the front. On the back of the medal, it says, What makes Lottie special? Lottie has a childlike body developed by British academics. She doesn't wear makeup, jewelry, or high heels. Best of all, she can stand on her own two feet. An invaluable skill for all girls, big and small. Be bold, be brave, be you. This is the English country garden version for ages three and up. On the back of the box, there is an illustration of the doll, other items available. It says, Spring has sprung and Branksy is full of bright, colorful flowers. The smell of freshly cut grass, the distant hum of bees buzzing, and the gentle flutter of butterflies across the meadows. Lottie loves to be outside and to enjoy a picnic in the garden, especially with her favorite strawberry fairy cakes. Let's get this doll out of the box and take a closer look. Out of the box, she stands a little under seven and a half inches tall. She has on a pink and green dress that Velcros in the back. The decorations on her dress have Velcro, so you can switch them to give her a different look. There is a real pocket in the front. She wears white socks with pink bows and red shoes. She has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. Oh, I take that back. She has a bend and snap knee, so she has a little more articulation. If they've got bend and snap knees, I would love to see a bend and snap elbow. Just throwing that idea out there. The packaging says that she can stand, so let's see if we can balance her. Yes, we can. This is a diverse doll line with different skin tones and themes. With more dolls, we can switch out their little decals to add more variety to their look. Now we're going to open up the accessory pack for Pandora the Persian Cat. On the back, it explains that Lottie is volunteering at the Brinksy Animal Shelter, helping to look after the homeless cats and dogs. Aww. One day, a cardboard box is mysteriously left outside the front door with a hungry and frightened Persian cat inside. They decide to name her Pandora. Unlike the Greek myth where the box brought unhappiness, here the arrival of Pandora is a cause for joy and fresh hope. Lottie helps to nurse Pandora back to health and make sure that her furry coat is kept clean and fluffy. So in this accessory pack, you get the cat, a cat bed, a bowl, a tin can of food, dry food, and a cat toy. I think the clothes are well made and the doll is definitely sturdy for active play. Plus, they have a good message. They're definitely promoting positive vibes. For a quick size comparison, they are taller than American Girl Minis and shorter than Barbie's sister Stacy. It is always so much fun to take a look at new dolls. And we'll see you tomorrow for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now. It is up to me to